What's going on, people? Let me properly introduce myself. My name is Abdul S. Muhammad. I'm the author of How to Find Your Passion Now. I've been involved in the international business field for about 14 years, which allowed me to, to go to places like China multiple times, Nepal, Thailand multiple times, all over Central America doing business. I've learned a lot. But now I'm in the space of a passion coach. My job is to help you find out what your it factor is. What do I mean by it factor? The thing that makes you tick. Some of us are great authors, speakers, musicians, poets, a lot of different things, but we haven't tapped into that source. We don't know why, but we haven't tapped into it. My job is to help you tap into it. Now, let me start off with a powerful question. What if Michael Jordan was an accountant, went to work every day, had the same clients for 20 years, and went in and just sat at a desk and just helped clients? And you walked in one day and you looked at him and you were like, Mike, I don't know what it is, but you just don't look happy. Well, we all know the end of that story. Mike loved basketball, which made him practice a lot because when you love something, you spend more time with it, which helped him get to the point of mastery, which opened the doors for shoe deals, deals with Haynes and multiple other endorsements. What if Paul McCartney was a construction worker, a guy that would show up at the job site and talk about going to local bars and drinking. Maybe he would have had a beer belly, drank and talked about the job that he didn't love. What if Michael Jackson would have did something like that? Steve Jobs, Bill Gates, Warren Buffett, whom read all the books in the Omaha Library on Finance by the age of 12. Now, my question to you is, what is your special thing? Because don't think that these were people that just were somehow lucky and were, and were privileged. No, we all have a special thing. But the problem is fear gets in our way and also philosophy. And what's that philosophy? Go out, get a great job, safe, secure job, and do that. But the people that follow that route are the same people that go out on weekends to sell out shows to see people like Paul McCartney. We did the same thing with Michael Jackson. We went to Michael Jordan's games. We bought Steve Jobs' Apple computers. Right? But they took risks. There were people that didn't believe in them, people that didn't think they should try that because there was no blueprint to success, but they did it anyway. They weren't afraid of failure. They did it. Now, what's stopping you? And that's what we're going to talk about today, because what happens is when we and this is for a lot of it's a lot of different categories. But let's say you finish high school because some don't. Now, that doesn't mean that you're going to be an idiot because you didn't finish high school. But because if you look at the Forbes list, people like the Ver Virgin Mobile creator and Virgin Airlines creator had a problem with dyslexia and ADHD, dropped out of school when he was 15. But that wasn't the the end. You know, people like Einstein, whose teachers had said he probably was one of the most dumbest men that they've seen in their presence. We know about Einstein, but we don't know about the teachers, right? So you have the option of going to college or graduating high school and getting a job right away, or some want to go to Europe and find themselves or other places to find themselves, no matter what route you take. But somehow, uh, let's talk about the college route. The college route for a second goes like this. Your major. How did you get that major? Well, 
maybe you went to friend with a college. I mean, went to friend to college and you guys just happened to major in the same thing because you're friends. Maybe you found your career online. Maybe you were looking for a career that didn't have a lot of math in it. <laughs> you know, that was one of the ones that I tried. You know, hey, does this have a lot of math? And that became your um, your major. When you were in college, you probably went through multiple majors. Now, if you went, didn't go to college route and you started working a job, you just started working a job. And then no matter, and this is where we're both going to end here, we get this thing called a job. And the way we get the job is interesting. Now, most people who graduate college, a lot of them don't get a job in their major. There are many people who have went to college and majored in psychology, and now they're a bartender in New Orleans or their local bar or they work at Enterprise rent car Jobs that they could have had without even going to college. And then maybe you started dating the person that was at your job. And then you guys dated for a while and decided, hey, maybe it's a good idea to move in with each other. And then you move in with each other. And then after you move in with each other, maybe a kid comes. And then now you got to take care of the kid. Now you need uh, another car, dependable car. So you, you both have car payments. Then you need to prepare for an emergency. So you go out and get a credit card. You get a, a house, which is a mortgage. And you have all these bills. And you're still paying on your college debt. Now, if you didn't go to college. You don't have that, but you still may have that same scenario of, of finding a mate, right? And then you you go through life, and before you know it, you find out that the career that you chose, you don't like. You find out that maybe it wasn't the right thing for you, okay? Wasn't the right thing for you. Now, what do you do? Well, it wasn't the right thing for you, but here's the problem. You can't afford to leave. You don't have enough money that would give you the power to leave. Now, what some of you do at this point, once you find out you hate that job, you start saying things like, my boss is an idiot. He doesn't know what he's doing. I'm going to go out and do the same thing. Not knowing that the only thing you know how to do is just work. You don't understand the whole structure of business. Is any of this sounding familiar? You don't understand the whole structure of business. So you go out with no savings, no money, and you want your business to be successful overnight. But you don't understand that entrepreneurship doesn't work that way. Entrepreneurship works when you have failure after failure after failure because the average millionaire fails 16 to 17 times before they make it. But see, you never experienced any of that because when you receive your paycheck every two weeks, you didn't know there was a such thing as failure. You was always taught that failure was bad. Right. And, this, and you go through life living like this. And then when you start the business, it doesn't work and you fall on your face. And all of a sudden you get back and go to a job and you live a life where you don't love it. And you become this miserable, grumpy person who says things like, don't talk about business. After, don't talk about my job after I get off because I hate my job. And then when Sunday comes, you hate to get up Monday because you literally have to sit in the parking lot and basically force yourself to go into a job. And then on top of all of that, you say things like you want to be a millionaire one day. Now. Is that the life that some of you guys are living right now? And, and, and trying to find happiness out of that? Tired of your boss, you know, cursing you out or putting you down and people at your job are gossiping about you? I don't know. But I've talked to a lot of clients and a lot of them have that story, right? So what my solution is, is this. I'm offering a free course, a free course that will help you start to navigate what is it that you really want in life? Because you can't it basically it's, it's like Mark Twain said, I can help anybody get what they want as long as they know what they want. And if you don't know what you want, 
how are you going to get it? Most of you are unclear. If I asked you right now, what do you want in life? You would have to sit there and think. And the reason why is because you haven't set down, set down, I can't even talk, set down and did the necessary work to figure it out. And that's what we need to start to do. Now, don't get discouraged. Don't get upset and say like, oh, my gosh, he's talking to me. I have such a bad life. You can change it. The fact that you're listening to this, you can change it. And that's what I want to help you do. So I'm not going to talk long, although I've already talked long, but I was just reaching out to you to let you know that it's a real problem that we have in the world. People, you want to change the world? We need more entrepreneurs. The quicker I and anyone else in this field can help you pursue what you were meant to do, the better the world can be. We need more inventions, you know. We need more books, great books to keep helping people, programs to help people, cars, flying cars. Uh, we need to solve problems and entrepreneurs do that. So I want you to sign up for the free course. Click on the link below. Sign up for the free course. Get in there and work your butt off. Right. And then we'll take it from there. So thank you guys for listening to me. I hope that. You don't pass up on this. It's free. You need that that power to kind of get you get you going to start that spark to change. So with that said, people, thank you guys for listening. I hope you have a great rest of your life and take care.